My name is Jen and this is my story. I was raised in a Christian household. Towards high school and into college, my mid-20s, I started to move away from Christianity and my faith in God and started putting my faith in more myself. I started reading a lot of self help books about manifesting things on your own and the law of attraction is is what it was called and putting my faith in in myself then in god in january of 2020 i was diagnosed with stage 2 breast cancer i was 35 years old at the time so it wasn't really anything that i was expecting to have to deal with in july of 2020 i would went into remission i shortly came across a self-help book um, that I had read in my mid-20s, and I thought I should read it again. I immediately thought to myself, no, don't do that. You should read the Bible. And I wanted to read the Bible to learn more about God, to have a better understanding of Him and, and how He operates. I told my husband I wanted to start going to church. We began attending Lakeland online and then started going in person. I joined a small group, the New Believers Group, and was really making progress in my journey of faith and Christianity. It wasn't until May of this year that I realized I wasn't as far along as I thought I was. My cancer came back. It, I was told it was stage four, and my thoughts immediately went to my small children and my husband. I thought, would I even make it to my oldest high school graduation? Would my husband be left to raise two small children on his own? I immediately started looking things up online to try to figure out how much time I had left, you know, what's what's the lifespan of someone with stage four breast cancer? Is there some sort of diet that I could do to prolong my life? Um, really anything that had to do with prolonging my life. I realized I was starting to look towards myself again and that I couldn't do that, that there was nothing I could do to get myself out of this situation. I began praying uh, every day. Others were praying for me daily. And throughout that time, I realized that it wasn't just my cancer diagnosis that I wanted to put into God's hands, but it was all aspects of my life. I wanted Jesus to take the lead on everything and live my life the way he wants me to live it. I'm so grateful for for the prayers and for God and for um, everyone who supported me. Um, on August 2nd, I had a PET scan done and I found out that there was no sign of cancer. I'm getting baptized as an outward expression of my faith to let everyone know that I have decided to follow Jesus and to let him lead my life.